losing teeth. It's a process we all go through when growing up. We're born without any, then we grow our first set, and then eventually our bodies decide, hey, you're not good enough. And so they replace them with bigger ones. It's something that happens to everybody. It doesn't discriminate. There's a lot of differences, however, in how people lose their teeth. <laughs> the way I see it, people lose their teeth in one of two ways, naturally or accidentally. Or sometimes on purpose with violent force. <laughs> Yay, woo! Lost my tooth. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Out, 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 out. Ay, 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 ay. Ah! The people who purposely remove their teeth can often do it in really creative ways, such as. Oh, that looks easy. Let me just get my remote control helicopter and tie my tooth to it and see what happens. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I never experienced anything like that. Mostly because I was too scared to make it happen. But regardless, I do have a handful of stories to tell. I remember the feeling of losing a tooth and it would be so exciting. Obviously, it was painful from time to time, especially when eating, but it was always worth it in the end because you know what came later? The Tooth Fairy, woohoo! Starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Most people can't fully remember how and when they lost their first tooth, but luckily, I remember mine quite vividly. My family and I just arrived home from our holiday to the Gold Coast. And this was around the same point in time where I got my pet bird, Max. There's a link in the description that will take you to that video. <laughs> I was just minding my own business and then I nudged my tooth slightly and it just fell out of my hand. Like what? Keep in mind, this was my first time this ever happened to me. So I could have reacted in terror like I imagine a lot of kids would. But instead, my eyes lit up with joy. I ran around the house jumping up and down, screaming with excitement. This was the beginning of me starting to look like Phil and Lil. I can't even begin to explain why, but having this sudden gap in my teeth filled me up with so much pride. I would eat lollipops with my teeth clenched and the lollipop stick was poking through where my tooth used to be. Ha! <laughs> yep, I thought I was cool for doing this. In fact, I feel like losing a tooth is one of the biggest accomplishments a kid can show off at school. I'm not kidding, literally every kid I knew at this age had to announce it to everybody like nothing else mattered. Oh guys, take a look at this, I lost my tooth on the weekend and it looks so sick. Oh well, I'm sure you don't have a good story, I lost mine at the pool and it's still at the bottom of the pool. I do not believe that for a second because I see all your teeth in your mouth. Children, children, have a look at my mouth. I lost two and a half teeth. Oh, oh my no god. Way. Make that three. Yeah, I was one of those kids too, but that'll change one day. In second grade, I lost my first front tooth. I would have been around seven years old at this time. The night before the school week started, little me was attempting to eat dinner with my very, very loose tooth. I struggled a lot because at this point, it was beginning to cause a bit of pain. I sat there with my barely touched food in front of me and all of a sudden, my mom had this brilliant idea. Well, if you're not going to eat your dinner, we'll just have to rip out your tooth now. <laughs> Get into the bathroom. Gulp. The pain I felt in that moment was indescribable. Tears were streaming constantly down my face. There was a never-ending, unbearable ache from the roof of my mouth and blood. Oh my god, lots of blood. <laughs> Looking back at it now though, I was probably over-exaggerating. Not a little. A lot. <sighs> okay, let's get this tooth out for you. <laughs> but it did hurt. Trust me, please. The next day, I made it my goal to avoid talking. To avoid opening my mouth in general, actually. So that no one would notice this massive hole in my mouth. This didn't last long, though. Someone tickled me and my hideous smile was on display for everyone. <laughs> Ew. And do you know what the worst luck ever is? Losing your front teeth at the same time. And do you know what is even worse luck? Losing both front teeth at the same time during school photo time. That is a big oof. Okay, smile please, Jess. I said smile. <laughs> that I thought was really cool at the time was that my best friend and I would lose our teeth at the exact same time, which is kind of creepy thinking about it now. And not just losing any random teeth, we would lose the same teeth at the same time. One of us would rock up to school and be like, <gasps> There were also those cool kids that would lose their teeth on purpose during class just to get out of it. Sometimes I desperately wanted to be that kid during primary school, but that time never came. Until high school! Except unfortunately, it happened during my lunch break. My friend asked me if I wanted a lolly, or candy, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, sure, why not? Why would I turn this offer down? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> it was a big mistake. This type of lolly was super chewy, and after a few chews, it had enough power to rip out one of my back teeth that wasn't even loose in 
the first place. As I was chewing away, I hit something hard. I took a look at it, and all I saw was a mass amount of blood gushing out of my mouth. My friend saw all the blood and she was out of there instantly. Honestly, I don't blame her. It would have been quite disturbing. All of this occurred from a harmless lolly. <laughs> Sorry to change the topic so suddenly, but is it just me or does the tooth fairy not get nearly enough credit? Compared to Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny at least. A fairy supposedly flies into your house, takes the tooth from under your pillow, don't ask how they manage that, and then leaves you money. Where's the magical backstory that every kid knows about? Where's the fun songs or the traditional celebrations. All the Tooth Fairy gets is this embarrassment that I referenced earlier. Don't even get me started on this mess! Whenever any conversation about the Tooth Fairy came up during school, there was always one question that would be discussed every time. So how much money do you guys get from the Tooth Fairy? Oh yeah, I get $5. I get $20, no big deal lol. I get $2. Wait, is the Tooth Fairy ripping me off? Other than the stories I've already spoken about, the remaining teeth I have lost have pretty boring stories to go with them. I have never had any sort of fear with going to the dentist either. I know it can sometimes be interpreted as a big scary place where your teeth are drilled into and ripped apart, but nothing ever gave me that impression. I guess the reason behind that could be that I was never really into sweet foods to begin with and therefore I wasn't concerned about cavities. I've learned my lesson that lollies are evil. <laughs> oh yeah, I lost one tooth to garlic bread once. Blessed. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I just want to let you guys know that the first ever piece of Jelly Jess merch has been made. And guess what? It's free. Head on over to my Twitter, follow me there, and retweet this post. And you'll be in the running to win. Good luck, everyone.